Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video we are going to discuss about the smooth line chart in Data Studio or Looker. So you might be thinking that what exactly is smooth line chart? So smooth line charts are two axis graphs displaying a series of data points as you can see over here with lines connecting these dot point or connecting the data points are smooth instead of a straight line as we have usually seen in the line chart. The smooth line charts are used to display the time series data and show changes over time for continuous variable as well as it will show the separate line for each of the series. You can think or visualize the smooth line chart as it helps to visualize change over the time for continuous data. You may want to use a smooth line chart to show the growth in cumulative profit over the course of a year or a line chart to show the change in daily average users for a software product over a few months or based on your requirement you can use a smooth line chart to show either the growth or decline in your business or how your business is performing over a period of time so let's go and create a smooth line chart in data studio or looker so first of all what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on edit button over here and i'm going to add a page so that i can create this smooth line chart from scratch so I'm going to copy this header over here. Now the first thing to create a smooth line chart that you will require is your data set. If you have already added your data set in your report then you can go ahead and start adding the chart. But if you have not added your data then you can come over here in the resources and click on manage added data sources and you can add your data source by clicking add a data source. So for me, I have already added this GDS 18, which I will be using to create my smooth line chart, as you can see over here. So what I'm going to compare is that I'm going to compare the internet users versus the mobile phone. Okay. So as you can see over here, I have a data in which I have mobile phone date number as well as the internet users number and internet hosts number against each of these countries. So I'm going to plot the country name and then I'm going to plot their internet users as well as mobile phones so that we can compare both of these two matrices over a period of time. Now to add a smooth line chart you need to go to your navigation bar over here and click on add a chart. Once you click on add a chart then you have to come to line section and you will see at the last you have a smooth line chart option. If you click on it then Looker will allow you to add a smooth line chart on your report and once you add this then by default the looker will add a dimension and the matrices for you just to start over now we'll go one by one for each and everything over here in setup and style so the first thing in setup is your data source so if you have already selected your data source then it's well and good if you have not selected your data source then you can click over here then you can select any of the data which you have loaded or which you have already loaded on your report and if you have not loaded your data set on your report then you can click on add data and then looker will take you to the connect to data section you can select your connector and add data as i have added my data gds18 data set so i'll not change it over here now the next option that we have is date range dimension this date range dimension takes the date column so if your data source has a date column then by default looker will take that date column and if you have other dates column also and based on your selection if you want to change the date range dimension then you can click over here and select the specific date range column now the next option that we have is the dimension and this is the variable or the time frame column which you want to select so that you can show your series of data points with line over a particular time frame so for us the dimension will be month and year column as you can see over here in our x-axis our month and year is plotted now if you have a drill down option added then you can add additional dimensions which you want to get drilled down to what we can do is that we can only add country over here at a drill down level because for each 
here we want to show the country value now the next option that we have over here is matrix within this matrix i want to show the number of mobile phone users i'll select mobile phone and then i'll select internet user because i want to compare my mobile phone user versus internet user over a specific period of time now if you want to add any optional matrices then you can add from here by checking this option and if you want to add a metric slider then you can select this option and i'll show you what this metric slider do let's go to view and if you come to your graph then you have an option over here metric slider and this metric slider will give you both of these two matrices which you have selected in your graph and your user will be able to select a range of values based on which the graph data will update or change okay and we were talking about the drill down option so on your graph you have an option over here to drill down from month and year to country name if you click on it then you will see that your graph will go a one level deeper as this country level doesn't make sense for us in our graph to drill down we'll remove it from here so let's go back to our edit section and remove the drill down option from here now the next option that we have is the sort option for our graph now if you want to sort your graph based on a particular matrices then you can select the matrices from here and then if you want it either in ascending or descending you can select ascending or descending from here now the next option within this setup is filter if you want to add a filter within your graph then you can click on add a filter then you have to click on create a filter and then you have to give a filtration name or filter name so that in future when you open this report or dashboard and you come here and you see this filter name you you get an idea that what exactly this filter does so for example if i want to put a filter so that china and india doesn't appear in my chart then i can put filter china underscore india as a name so that it will inform me that i have added a filtration in which i have excluded the china or india then you have an option to include or exclude after this selection you can select a field over here on which field you want to apply a filter then you have to select a condition so most often we use equal to and then you can put the country name over here something like this india right and then you just need to click on save and this filtration will be saved and it will be applied on this chart but for us we don't want any filtration we want to show all the data so we will not add any filter so if i go to view and see our chart i can see that for most of the period of time the mobile phone user is higher as compared to internet users right for all the countries throughout this 20 30 years you will see that mobile phone users is higher as compared to the internet users let's go and beautify this chart a little bit and this beautification can be done from the style section of the chart and to get to a style section you have to get into edit mode of the chart first and then on the right hand side you will see this style section within this style section the first option that appears is series number one this is the first matrices this series number one represents the first matrices that you have selected for us it's mobile phone right and if you want to change the chart type from line to bar you can select it over here right but for us we are discussing line chart so we'll keep it as a line now if you want to change the line weight you can do it from here okay and if you want to change the color series color you can change it from here now if you want to show the cumulative value then you can show it from here right you can select this cumulative value for series 1 and the graph will show you the cumulative value for series 1 now if you want to show the data points you can click on show points and the graph will add a point on the series now if you want to show data labels you can click this option but for us 
our data is huge and it's a huge number so it doesn't make sense for us to put or show the data labels now the next option within this series one is access if you want to change the access of the series by default it will always be left and if you want to change it you can change it from here under this access section right so if i have selected right then my series one is plotted on right axis not on the left axis so let's keep it as right and move ahead similarly for series two you have the same options over here you can change the color of your series from here then you can show the cumulative point and you can show the points on that series obviously we, we are not going to show the data label then we'll select the series as left okay and let's keep it as left only and instead of showing the cumulative way let's remove this cumulative because we do not want to show the cumulative graph now the next option within the style is in general if you want to keep your line chart smooth then you can select this smooth and we are discussing about the smooth end line chart so we'll always select this smooth so the next option that we have over here under style is number of points so by default looker will always show the top 500 data values based on the dimension and based on the matrices that you have selected for your graph but if you want to show more than 500 values then you can increase or decrease from here okay now if you have a reference line to compare your graph and chart you can add that reference line from here under this style section by clicking on add a reference line and once you click on add a reference line then you have to give the value the type of the reference whether you want to plot it on x-axis or y-axis and the line weight as well as the type of line that you want to show dash dotted and solid so for us we do not have any reference to compare our phone and internet users over the period of time so we'll keep it blank now we have more of the general options over here under axes if you want to reverse your y-axis or x-axis you can select from it over here right and by default looker will always select this show axis if you uncheck this then all the values will be disappearing on for, for axes so it's always recommended to click on this show axis so that your user can see what is getting compared or on which basis the graph has been plotted now the next option within a style is left y axis and right y axis if you want to show the axis title you can select this option and if you want to change graph chart plotting methodology from normal to log scale you can do it from here so I have selected show access title and log scale for left y axis. Similarly, I'll select show access title and log scale for right y axis. So you'll see that you have the access title on left as well as right y axis. Now, if you want to show title on x axis, then you can select this option show access title. And then we have an option of grid, which is seeing over here these small lines grids most often we do not like to show these grids so uh, you can come over here within this grid color and select transparent so that grid lines will disappear and if you want those lines then you can reset it or change any of the line color as well as the axis color if you want to change the axis color over here which is black you can change it to any color so let's reset it and keep it as transparent now if you want to change the font family font size and the background color of this chart of this grid under this grid then you can do it from here you can change the axis font size label font size this is the chart background color this is the chart border color so if i select it as blue you will see that this border has changed to blue now within this small grid if i want to change the background color i can change the background color also right 
now the next option that we have is for legend if you want to change the font size then you can change it from here now if you want to show your legend at some other place then you can come over here and select the different options that looker has provided us this is bottom this is top this is right and this is none once you select this then your legend will disappear so it's always advisable to keep your legend so that your user can understand what matrices you are comparing now the next option that we have is alignment if you want to change the alignment of this legend then you can select it from here left center and right so left keep it center and this max line suppose you have 10 different matrices that you have used in your chart and it's not getting properly shown over here because you have one line and if you want to put it into two line or three line or four lines then you can come over here under this legend section and you can increase the lines from here now the last option within a style for us is background and border if you want to change the background and border of this entire graph then you can select it from here you can select the background color and the next option is the border radius if you want to change the border radius then you can increase or decrease the border radius from here the next option is the opacity if you want to decrease the opacity of this entire chart then you can do it from here so let's keep it at 100 percent now the next option or you can say the last option within this style is the border so if you want to change the border color this border color then you can select it from here so let's keep it this color and increase the border weight from here to 4 and the last option that we have under this border is the border style if you want to change the border style then you have four different options over here one is solid dashed dotted and double so let's keep double over here let's go and click on view so that we can see our graph over here as you can see the graph is plotted in a beautiful way but our x-axis is not sorted properly right so we might have sorted this graph based on a matrices value which is either phone number the sorry the number of phone or mobile users or the internet users so let's go to edit and change the sorting option from matrices to dimension as month and year value so you can see over here sort and we have used phone mobile so instead of that we'll use month year and we'll keep it in ascending order now this graph makes much more sense as you can see over here that the phone user is always greater than the internet user and within 2015 the phone user as well as internet user has reduced a lot there might be some kind of reason for that but there was a huge reduction in the mobile phone user as well as internet user back in 2015 so this is how basically you can Create and customize your smoothened line chart in Looker. Happy learning and see you in the next video.